I took this drone video on November 11th, 2021, as George III was returning from sea trials at South Padre Island, Texas. The narrative is taken from an article written by Kim Norton for the Professional Mariner Journal on October 31st, 2021. I'll be using an AI voice because due to a stroke, I've lost my ability to read very well. Two of the cleanest running container ships in the Hawaii trade lane will soon enter service for Pasha Hawaii. The company, based in Honolulu and San Rafael, California, developed its dual fuel Ohana class to run on liquefied natural gas, LNG, from day one. MV George III, the lead vessel, is scheduled for delivery later this year, followed by MV Janet Marie in spring 2022. The two ships are named for the late parents of George Pasha IV, the president and CEO of Pasha Hawaii. Keppel M. Fells Shipyard in South Texas is building both ships. The 774 by 115 foot vessels were built using a proprietary design from Keppel Marine Technology Development. It emphasizes efficiency and speed with substantially lower emissions through LNG propulsion. Sustainability was the no. One factor in the decision for adopting LNG as the primary fuel said Ed Washburn, Senior Vice President of Fleet Operations for Pasha Hawaii. We've seen the effects of climate change and felt it was important to design these ships to have minimal impact on our environment. The Ohana-class ships are Pasha's first new build since 2015, when the 692-foot container slash roll-on, roll-off Conroe, Marjorie C. joined the fleet. Their arrival will expand the company's ocean-going fleet from six to eight ships. Separately, Pasha Hawaii is working to install a dual-fuel engine on the steamship Horizon Reliance. Planning for the Ohana-class vessels began almost five years ago. Company officials from Keppel M. Fells and Pasha Hawaii consulted with many sources, from stevedores and operational employees to sales representatives. Keppel M. Fells took the lead on developing the specifications with input from Pasha Hawaii executives. In addition to the dual-fuel LNG propulsion, the vessels had to carry 400 refrigerated containers, 545-foot containers and 440-footers. Four shipyards bid on the vessel construction project before Keppel M. Fells, a subsidiary of Keppel Offshore and Marine, was awarded the contracts. The yard, located in Brownsville, Texas, offered to custom design a ship based on Pasha Hawaii's requirements rather than modify an existing design. The yard also had vast experience working with LNG, which was another plus. Above deck, the Ohana class has accommodations for 28 plus six-person riding crew, in cabins with multiple configurations. They also have an owner's stateroom and a pilot cabin. There are meeting rooms, conference rooms, and internet and TV available throughout the deck house. The Kongsberg Bridge Control and Navigation System is the beating heart of the wheelhouse. The integrated system has two X-band radars, an S-band radar, electronic chart display and information system, ICTES and AIS. The chart table is equipped with a course recorder, weather fax and navetex receivers, two differential GPS systems and other equipment. West Coast Clean Fuels LLC, a joint venture among Clean Marine Energy, World Fuel Services and Pasha Hawaii Holdings LLC, recently announced a partnership to create a fuel delivery system that will supply LNG to the new ships at the port of Long Beach. The fueling will occur dockside from LNG-powered trucks hauling cryogenic ISO containers that will be hooked up to West Coast Clean Fuels LNG bunker delivery system. The trucks will deliver roughly 300 gallons a minute to the Ohana-class vessels. At pace, fueling should take about four hours. I am confident developing this self-contained and reliable infrastructure to get fuel to the ship, which we've done, is 100% the right way to go, Washburn said. Pasha Hawaii is looking forward to the Ohana-class vessels joining its fleet. The state-of-the-art design, engineering and construction of both MV George III and MV Janet Marie represents the remarkable talents of Keppel and Fells LLC's highly skilled shipbuilders, George Pasha IV said in a statement. 